Your transmission could be dying right now, and you would have no clue until it's too late. Sounds dramatic, right? Well, this is the reality of many drivers, and yes, most car owners or drivers ignorantly make really silly small mistakes, without even realizing it, that could quietly wreck your entire transmission. Hold up, stay with me, because I'm about to walk you through exactly what to check, why it matters, and how to avoid a $5,000 repair bill before it's too late. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Auto V Fix. A quick question, do you actually know what type of transmission fluid your car uses? Because most people don't. And yet, that simple detail could be the difference between a buttery smooth drive and a gearbox that's burning itself from the inside out. In today's video, you'll learn about the difference between manual, automatic, and CVT fluids, what each one does behind the scenes, and how using the wrong one, even once, can start a silent chain reaction that destroys your transmission over time. I see this happen all the time. In fact, a friend of mine had a Lexus ES350E with over 250,000 miles and never touched the transmission fluid. You want to guess how that ended? Well, I will tell you what happens match later in the video, but first, let's talk about what transmission fluid actually does in your car and why misunderstanding this one role is where everything starts to go wrong. It doesn't matter if you drive a Ford, Toyota, Chevy, Honda, or any modern vehicle. This is something you can't afford to get wrong. And before we wrap up, I'll show you the most common mistake people make when changing their transmission fluid and how that mistake alone is responsible for countless destroyed transmissions. Let's get into it. Now, before we get into all the various types of transmission fluid and their applicable use case, let's look at first what transmission fluid really is. So, what does transmission fluid actually do? The transmission fluid, in short, can be said to be the lifeblood of your transmission. In a manual transmission, it lubricates all the metal gears, shafts, and bearings, helping them glide smoothly and avoid grinding themselves into expensive dust. But in an automatic transmission, it goes even further. It not only lubricates, but also delivers hydraulic pressure to shift gears, keeps the system cool, operates the valve body, engages the torque converter, and ensures clutch packs and bands don't wear out too soon. And yes, both types of systems can fail fast without the right fluid in place. Which brings me to one of the biggest misconceptions that cost car owners thousands. I am talking about the idea where you are sold lifetime fluid for your car. Many modern car manufacturers, as a way to promote their product, claim that their transmissions are sealed for life or have lifetime fluid. This sounds great, right? and you never have to worry about it. But here's the truth. When they say lifetime, it often means for the expected warranty period of the vehicle, not for the entire life of the car you plan to own and drive for 150,000, 200,000, or even over 250,000 miles. We see it constantly. Transmissions on these very cars are failing prematurely, often just past the warranty mark, simply because owners believe the fluid truly lasted forever and never bothered to change it. Again, let me say this. No fluid especially under the extreme heat and stress of a transmission, will actually last forever. All fluids degrade over time and lose their protective properties and accumulate wear material. Ignoring fluid changes on these sealed units is a leading cause of premature, incredibly expensive transmission replacement jobs. Please don't fall for the marketing hype. Your transmission needs attention. Remember, I mentioned my friend earlier who had a Lexus ES350 with over 250,000 miles. What really happened to him? Well, he had a 2006 Lexus ES350 that he had been using reliable car, no question, and it had over 250,000 miles on it, and he was super proud of how long it lasted. Never gave him any issue down until out of nowhere he started noticing weird shakes, and each time he tried shifting gear the car would jerk slightly, especially when slowing down or accelerating from a stop. At first he brushed it off, thought maybe it was bad gas or nothing serious, but then it got worse. The shifts got harsher, but his man still refused to try checking what was going on, until one day he pulled out of a parking lot and the car refused to go into gear. The engine revved like crazy, but it wouldn't move. That was when he called me, really, bro? I mean, that was the transmission completely gone. Anyways, he called me in a panic. I asked the obvious question. When's the last time you changed your transmission fluid? And there was a pause from him. Then he said something that really made me laugh. <laughs> Wait, you're supposed to change that? He had owned the car for nearly a decade and not once touched the transmission fluid because he believed in the lifetime fluid thing. Long story short, $3,800 later, he had to replace the entire transmission. His mechanic said the fluid was burnt and full of metal shavings and has been running dry for who knows how long. That one little maintenance step, ignored for years, cost him nearly four grand. And the worst part? It could have been easily avoided if he had just checked it or asked questions sooner. Anyway, moving on, how can you avoid a $5,000 transmission repair bill? Simple. Only use the exact transmission fluid type your manufacturer recommends. 
not something that's close enough or claims to work in everything. Avoid any shop that uses a one-size-fits-all fluid for every car. That shortcut may cost you your entire transmission. Already use the wrong fluid? Don't panic, but do a full fluid exchange or multiple drain and fills with the correct fluid to minimize long-term damage. You can solve a $5,000 problem with a $250 service if you catch it early and do it right. Now let's move on to the various types of transmission fluid and how they affect your car. There are three main types of transmission fluid you need to know. Manual, automatic, and continuously variable transmission fluid. For the manual transmission fluid, MTF, you'd think manual fluid is pretty straightforward. But one misstep here could ruin your gearbox, especially in winter. This is mostly found in older vehicles or those with traditional manual gearboxes and is often referred to as gear oil or manual transmission lube, and it's usually thicker, ranging from 75W to 140W in viscosity. That thickness helps protect gears under extreme pressure, but it can also make cold weather shifting a nightmare. That's actually one reason many modern manual transmission vehicles have switched and are now designed to use lighter, automatic-type fluids. Key traits of the manual transmission fluid are, one is there are heavier, has a strong smell, requires more frequent replacement in some older systems. And no, don't ever pour this into an automatic system. It's not compatible. Automatic transmission fluid, ATF. This is by far the most common type today, and it might look like any other oil, but did you know that just picking the wrong version of the right automatic fluid can wreck your transmission? The automatic transmission fluid is not just a lubricant, it acts as a hydraulic fluid too. It's thinner than manual fluid and is usually dyed red, green, or purple, depending on the brand and manufacturer. That coloring helps you instantly spot leaks and prevents you from confusing it with motor oil or brake fluid. What does it do? Enables smooth gear shifting, powers hydraulic systems, prevents overheating, protects internal clutches and gears. Now I want you to also bear in mind that each car brand and transmission model may require a specific automatic transmission fluid formulation like Dexron, Mercon, or Type F. Always match the fluid to your vehicle's requirements. But also note that it is not just about selecting the right automatic transmission fluid, it is about using the exact formulation your transmission was designed for. While some universal ATFs claim broad compatibility, the truth is your transmission was engineered with very precise friction characteristics and viscosity in mind which are often unique to specific OEM formulations. For example, using a standard Dexron or Mercon multi-vehicle fluid in transmission specifically requiring, say, Honda DW1, Toyota WS, or a specific Ford Mercon LV can lead to subtle but significant problems over time. These OEM-specific fluids have precise additive packages and friction modifiers that ensure smooth shifts, proper clutch engagement, and optimal cooling for that particular transmission design. A universal fluid might meet minimum requirements, but it rarely perfectly matches the exact properties the engineers designed for. This can result in harsher shifts, slipping, premature wear, or even shuddering issues that are incredibly frustrating to diagnose. And if you're driving a modern SUV or hybrid, then you will need to pay close attention to this next part, because using the wrong fluid on them could cause permanent failure. Now let's talk about number three, CVT fluid, the continuously variable transmission fluid. So if you drive a newer car with a CVT, especially a modern SUV, hybrid, or tech-forward sedan, you'll need CVT fluid. CVT transmissions don't have traditional gears. They use a belt or chain between two pulleys, and they require a very specific fluid that allows seamless gear ratio changes while maintaining friction and pressure. Here's the thing. Using ATF in a CVT transmission, or vice versa, can cause permanent damage. Your car may still run for a while, but eventually you'll start experiencing jerky acceleration, slipping, or total transmission failure. If your vehicle uses CVT, only use manufacturer-recommended CVT fluid. And by the way, if you've ever been confused between a bad torque converter and a failing transmission, I break it all down in this other video. You won't believe how often those symptoms get misdiagnosed? I will leave the video link in the description box below. Which transmission fluid should you use? The short answer? Check your owner's manual. Seriously, don't guess. If you've lost the manual, you can usually find a digital copy on the manufacturer's website or simply search your make, model, and year online. Using the wrong transmission fluid can void your warranty. Two, damage your transmission. Three, create dangerous driving conditions. Don't rely on guesswork or one-size-fits-all bottles at the store. Match it exactly. And it's not just about you picking the wrong bottle. There's a subtle but significant danger of cross-contamination, even in professional settings. If a shop uses a single fluid dispenser or hoses for multiple ATF types without thorough cleaning in between, tiny residual amounts of the wrong fluid can mix. Even small amounts of incompatible fluid over time 
can cause friction modifiers to clash, seals to degrade, or lead to accelerated wear. This is why top-tier shops have dedicated fluid systems or stringent protocols to prevent mixing. If you're having your fluid changed, it's a valid question to ask your technician about their fluid handling. How often should you change transmission fluid? Now, here's where many people drop the ball. Most drivers know they need to change their motor oil, but when was the last time you checked your transmission fluid? Transmission fluid breaks down over time, especially under heavy loads, stop-and-go driving, or when towing. And once it degrades, it no longer lubricates, cools, or transfers power the way it should. General rule of thumb. Change it every 30,000 to 60,000 miles for most vehicles. Some newer cars may go longer, but only if the manual says so. If you see dark, burnt fluid or metal shavings, change it as soon as possible. But don't just look for burnt. Healthy ATF is typically bright red or green purple, depending on the manufacturer. If it's turning brown, cloudy, or milky pink, these are also critical warning signs. Brown fluid indicates oxidation and breakdown, even without a burnt smell. Cloudy fluid can suggest air in the system, and if it's pink and milky, that's a red alert for coolant contamination, usually from an internal radiator leak, a problem that needs immediate attention because coolant can rapidly destroy your transmission's internal components and clutch material. Letting it go too long can lead to slipping gears, delayed shifts, overheating, complete transmission failure. Now, if you're thinking about getting your fluid changed, you've probably heard intense debates online. Should you flush it or just do a drain and fill? This is a critical distinction, especially if your fluid hasn't been changed in a very long time. A drain and fill is straightforward. You drain the fluid from the pan and refill it. This replaces about 30-50% of the total fluid, leaving older, dirtier fluid in the torquey converter and cooler lines. It's gentle and safe, especially for high mileage transmissions with unknown service history. To fully refresh the fluid this way, you might need multiple drain and fills over a few hundred miles. A transmission flush or fluid exchange uses a specialized machine to push out nearly all the old fluid while circulating new fluid throughout the entire system. This ensures almost 100% new fluid. Sounds ideal, right? Here's the often unspoken danger. Performing a full fluid exchange on a transmission that has been severely neglected and has extremely old, burnt, or sludgy fluid. In such cases, the very old fluid often contains suspended clutch material and debris that ironically might be helping the worn transmission hold together. Introducing fresh, highly detergent new fluid too aggressively can dislodge this built-up material, causing it to block narrow passages in the valve body or cooler lines, leading to sudden slipping, hard shifts, or even complete failure shortly after the service. So, if your transmission fluid is dark brown, black, and smells burnt, and you don't have a record of it ever being changed, a series of gradual drain and fills might be a much safer approach than an aggressive flush. When in doubt, especially with a high mileage neglected transmission, consult a trusted transmission specialist before deciding on a flush. A quick recap. All right, I understand this might be a lot to digest, so let me quickly recap the most important things you absolutely cannot afford to get wrong. So here's what we covered. Manual transmission fluids are thick and traditional. Automatic transmission fluids are lighter and do way more. CVT fluids are engineered specifically for high-tech, gearless transmissions. And using the wrong one? That's an expensive mistake you don't want to make. Always know what fluid your car needs and change it when recommended. If this video helped you out, no, if you find this video to be helpful, you also will love our other video here, where we compared the signs and symptoms of a bad torque converter versus those of a bad transmission. The link will be in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more car maintenance tips. And drop a comment if you've ever had a transmission nightmare or want help figuring out what fluid your car uses.